This breaking news in Pinellas County, where deputies tell us they suspect arson after two homes caught fire this morning. This is viewer video that captures how intense those flames were. This is happening in the area of US 19 and Curlew Road. Cameron Pullum is there live. He's been there all morning. And he gets us up to speed now with the latest on this investigation. Cameron? Yeah, that's right. Investigators are still on scene, pouring through any clues they can find to possibly connect this to a previous fire that happened late last week. Now, neighbors told me the fire went up very quickly. We're going to go ahead and show you some of that video that we have today from one of those neighbors. You can see how fast and, and hot that fire was burning. They said that one neighbor was still inside when it when the fire began. Now, uh, the initial calls to the fire department came in around 2.30 this morning. When they got here, the, the, as you can see in this video, the fire had fully engulfed the home. Now, one person was removed by neighbors and was treated at the scene. Another was transported to a lit area hospital with smoke inhalation and burns to the face. Now, uh, one of the, uh, this, this first fire, this uh, first home that caught on fire this morning is a, a total loss, according to firefighters. Another home actually caught on fire across the street from it. Uh, a rear bedroom caught on fire, but that was quickly taken down. Now, we did talk to uh, the man who was removed from his home this morning by neighbors, and this is what he had to say. Uh, what do we do about it? Do we get a patrol going 24-7? You know, how do we... How do we handle it? These guys got to be caught because if it hadn't have been for neighbors, I could very easily be laying in that room, very easily. He is not a happy man this morning. He actually tried to go back in for his Harley, uh, but unfortunately, because the flames were burning so hot, he wasn't able to get it out, so he's not very happy about that. Now, to my right, that's where the fire happened on Friday. That has been ruled an arson fire, so police will continue to come through evidence this morning until they can connect the dots if possible. That's the latest from here. I'm Cameron Polum, ABC Action News.